I'm David A. Elsenson. I wrote a story called Trading Ghosts for Writers of the Future Anthology number 36. I'd like to read a story written by Andy Dibble, illustrated by Heather A. Lawrence, titled A Word That Means Everything. When Pius was assigned to Merck, he assumed he would be translating the Bible into the language of genius octopuses. But the first Thulu he laid eyes on, rendered grayscale by the mist, only humped a lichen patch, distended tongue audibly slathering against rock, tentacle suckers puckering as they stuck and unstuck, vestigial wings like out-of-body lungs flagging over its backside. Thulus were supposed to communicate via tentacle gestures. This thrashing was it, right? But Pius's visor remained dark, no translation. His last assignment with the Prabakarans had been different. They knew first impressions mattered. This tentacly brute didn't even acknowledge him. You sure this thing is sentient, he called back? His voice echoed queerly in the gloom. Keep it down! Zora said in a church whisper. She was a good guide, by reputation a good ethnographer, but she treated him more like a credulous little brother than a client. I thought you said they couldn't hear. They can't, but the Thulus aren't top of the food chain. Zora dangled her fingers like a jellyfish, made them creep. The right fore tentacle of her Thulu suit glided away with almost feline surreptitiousness. She snatched her left hand away, and her other fore tentacle darted behind the nearest hind tentacle of her suit. The visor protruding from Pius's headgear flashed, Predator. He gulped. In this fog, anything worthy of the name Predator had to be calculating an ambush. He was armed, but sensor mesh constricted his trigger finger. He'd chosen the non-invasive Thulu suit. Zora's interfaced directly with her motor cortex, so her gestures were just a symptom of the same neural impulses that animated her suit's four tentacles. Through oblique rementation, she could control the four hind tentacles of her suit. If it came to flight, Pius had just one option, autopilot. The Thulu let up its humping long enough to radiate a spasm down its limber four tentacles and four stouter hind tentacles. A shrug? Pius's visor proffered disbelief in blocky red print, then corrected itself, amused disbelief. Pius groaned. What kind of language was this? He expected elegance, a system of symbols like the sign language of Prabhakaran children who were deaf-mute until puberty. Maybe they just thrash around to tomate and warn each other of danger, said Pius. That doesn't mean they have language. Did your church tell you that? Zora chuckled, like Socrates must have chuckled just before shredding his interlocutor's preconceptions. Just my guess. It could be bureaucratic blundering that consigned him to Merck, but he had to assume the one church hadn't sent him on a fool's errand. Thousands of robots taking millions of pictures all over this region ran pattern recognition. Devilishly clever algorithms. The same software derived more than a thousand languages, sp spanning over a hundred species throughout the galaxy. Just think how few Bible translations your church would have piddled out without it. Church doctrine said that the Holy Spirit doesn't work through software, but brandishing dogma was a non-starter. Maybe a different subject would be more cooperative? There were other males, Zora called them men scarfing lichen or sloughing about as though they belonged to a patch of mist rather than a place, and fog-gray females, <clears throat> women, haunting the periphery of the seen world. Young clung to the floppy wings on their backs as their four tentacles flicked about in conversation. You'll have less luck with the others. We're just... She let a four tentacle go slack like a burdensome limb she hadn't found the time to amputate. The translation smote the upper left of Pius's vision. Disobedient other? In imitation, he let his shoulder drop, and the whole left side of his Thulu suit sagged. Pius avoided keeling over into spongy marsh only by windmilling to the other side. 
His suit would have formed the gesture if he had just spoken the word into his mouthpiece. Light danced in Zora's eyes, but she suppressed her mirth. The Thulu led up feeding. His four tentacles squiggled. The rise of amusement, Pius's visor flared. Why does this one talk? said Pius. Unsure how his suit would react, he resisted the urge to make air quotes. <laughs> He's just true to his name. His name? Snarky. To find out what happens next, get a copy of Alron Hubbard Presents Writers of the Future, Volume 36.